Welcome everyone to this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. Um, I am Carl Lewis. With you today is your host, and our guest presenter will be Li Ping Li for the second week in a row. Uh, you may have started getting some reminders about the uh, ASUG Summit for SAP Business One. This is the America SAP User Group, and uh, so they just sent out the Save the Dates email. Uh, so those dates are September 15 to 17, and it's in the uh, Schaumburg, Illinois, just uh, outside of Chicago at a Renaissance Conference Center there. And um, put those dates on your calendar, and if you can join us and about five, 600 other people uh, in Schaumburg, Illinois, later in September this year, we would look forward to uh, being your host. So uh, without any more, I'm going to uh, make Le Ping Lee our presenter. All right, thank you, Carl. Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is the second part of our service module. So um, I'm going to uh, split the content into two parts. One part, we're talking about the return process the in during the service. And the second part, I'll go over a list of service module-related questions that were sent to our support. And hopefully, uh, other people's experience can give us a different angle to look at uh, how people use service module. So um, uh, here is a, a brief review of what we talked about last week. Um, service module is happened after you sold the item, and then the service module could also trigger um, reverse logistics. So, so basically, once you sold your item, and then uh, system created two information structure. One is service contract. The other one is customer equipment cards. Customer equipment card is a central location uh, that records everything, all the transactions happen to this equipment, including when it was purchased, what uh, goods received or AP invoice uh, purchased this equipment, and when it was shipped out to the customer, when it come back to uh, for service, return warehouse. So that's a central location to record all the transactions happen to this equipment. And then service contract, um, it provides you a uh, contract. It's 